Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about Ricardian theory of comparative advantage. According to this theory, we should do trade based on comparative advantage. According to this theory, we should do trade based on comparative advantage. And we can get comparative advantage by producing goods at a lower opportunity cost. What do you mean by opportunity cost? Opportunity cost means cost of other alternatives when one alternative is chosen. For example, you have only two options. Either you can produce mobile or you can produce tablet. In order to produce mobile, you give up tablet because you have limited resources. With this limited resources, either you can produce mobile or tablet. But you give up tablet so that you can produce mobile. And opportunity cost of producing mobile is sacrifice of benefit which you can receive from the sale of tablet. So we can say the opportunity cost is cost of other alternative when one alternative is chosen. And according to this theory, we should do trade based on competitive advantage. And we can receive competitive advantage by producing goods at lower opportunity cost. Now we will see assumption. Two commodities, two countries, no government intervention, perfect competition, constant return to scale. That means change in output will same as change in input. Labor is only one factor of production, no transport cost, full employment. And labor can move within country but cannot move between countries. Means labor can go for work in one country anywhere but cannot go for work in any another country. According to this theory, a country should increase production and export of those goods in which they have lower opportunity cost, but reduce production and increase import of those goods in which they have higher opportunity cost. With the help of one example, we will clearly understand this theory. This example is hypothetical. Here we assume we have only two countries, USA and UK, and they are producing only two goods, mobile and tablet. With their own resources, USA either can produce 100 unit of mobile or 200 unit of tablet. With their own resources, UK either can produce 80 unit of mobile or 100 unit of tablet. First of all, we will see opportunity cost of producing one unit of mobile in both country. Firstly, we will see opportunity cost of producing one unit of mobile in USA. USA can produce 200 unit of tablet and 100 unit of mobile. 200 over 100 is equal to 2. That means in order to produce one mobile, USA has to do sacrifice of two tablets. So, opportunity cost of producing one mobile in USA is sacrifice of two tablets. Now, we will see opportunity cost of producing one mobile in UK. UK can produce 100 unit of tablet and 80 unit of mobile. 100 over 80 is equal to 1.25. That means in order to produce one mobile, UK has to do sacrifice of 1.25 tablet. So in UK, opportunity cost of producing one mobile is sacrifice of 1.25 tablet. In this table, you can clearly see UK has lower opportunity cost in the production of mobile. Now we will see opportunity cost of producing one unit of tablet. First of all, we will see in USA, USA can produce 100 unit of mobile or 200 unit of tablet. 100 over 200 is equal to 0 0.5 means in USA in order to produce one tablet, they have to do sacrifice of 0 0.5 mobiles. Now we will see in UK, UK can produce 80 unit of mobile and 100 unit of tablet. 80 over 100 is equal to 0 0.8. So in UK, in order to produce one tablet, they have to do sacrifice of 0 0.8 mobile. So in opportunity cost of producing one tablet in USA is sacrifice of 0 0.5 mobile. And opportunity cost of producing one tablet in UK is sacrifice of 0 0.8 mobile. So here you can clearly say USA has lower opportunity cost in production of tablet. So in this example, you can clearly see USA has less opportunity cost in production of tablet. You can see UK is doing sacrifice of 0 0.8 mobile, but USA is doing sacrifice of 0 0.5 mobile in order to produce one tablet. So USA has less opportunity cost in production of one tablet, but USA has more opportunity cost in production of one mobile. 
यूएस इज डूइंग सेक्रीफाइस ऑफ टू टैबलेट बट यूके इज डूइंग सेक्रीफाइस ऑफ ओनली वन पॉइंट टू फाइव टैबलेट इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोड्यूस मोबाइल सो वी कैन से दैट यू एस ए हैज मोर अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वन मोबाइल बट लेस अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वन टैबलेट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस थियरी यू एस ए शुड इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन एंड एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ टैबलेट बट रिड्यूज द प्रोडक्शन एंड इंक्रीज द इम्पोर्ट ऑफ मोबाइल सिमिलर यू कैन सी यू के हैव लेस अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ मोबाइल हेयर यू कैन सी यू के इज डूइंग सेक्रीफाइस ऑफ वन पॉइंट टू फाइव टैबलेट बट यू एस इज डूइंग मोर सेक्रीफाइज सो हेयर यू कैन सी UK has a less opportunity cost in production of one mobile but more opportunity cost in production of one tablet because UK is doing more sacrifice of mobile as compared to USA so uh, UK has less opportunity cost in mobile but more opportunity cost in tablet that's why UK should increase the production and export of mobile but reduce the production and increase the import of tablet now with the help of this diagram we will see comparative advantage of countries in this diagram on x axis we have tablet and y axis we have mobile this line shows production of uk uk can produce 80 unit of mobiles or 100 unit of tablet this line shows production of usa usa can produce 100 unit of mobile or 200 unit of tablet first of all we will see productive capacity and efficiency of usa in production of mobile usa can produce 100 mobile but uk can produce 80 mobile 100 over 80 is equal to 1.25 that means usa is 1.25 times more productive and efficient in production of mobile now we will see usa productivity and efficiency in production of tablet USA can produce 200 tablet UK can produce 100 tablet 200 over 100 is equal to 2 that means USA is a two time more efficient and productive in production of tablet so here you can clearly see USA is more efficient and productive in production of tablet as compared to mobile that's why USA definitely go for production of tablet that means USA definitely increase production and export of tablet now we will see criticism of this theory this theory ignore role of government as we know government play very important role in international trade and this theory take wrong assumption of perfect competition and full employment there is not always a perfect competition and full employment according to this theory country should increase production and export of those goods in which they have lower opportunity cost but in real life there are so many goods that why it is very difficult to decide in which goods country have a lower opportunity cost ignore transport cost uh, this theory assume relative prices and exchange rate are same but in real life relative prices and exchange rate are not same this theory assume labor is only one factor of production ignore other factor of production so this is all about comparative advantage theory i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care